Stable Eye, 1 energy, Mirror Gem, 10 damage. But if he gets attacked, he does 8 damage back. Oh, that's pretty good for 1 energy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hey, Stable Eye, hold this. Alrighty hey, then, we're going to do Mirror safe? Gem. And when you evolve to Gyarados, hopefully you get hit by a confusion. A small confusion. Well, Donald, um, that's a dragon. He's going to give you the max of prize card here, so... Let's see, he didn't... He hit three water energies, which ah, that will I'll kill me anyway. It's fine. And then... The sky... Why am I taking damage? damage? You're now confused. There's only one Pokemon I can send up. Tax me again, he'll get KO'd. This will be a KO. We're going to be a gem. And this is going to be enough. Poison, poison. Not poison. <laughs> get that out. All right, revenge. E so today, we're going to troll with Sableye. In which, if you attack him... You're gonna get your mud roll. Oh, sh <laughs> well, hello, Nagros and the Frenchos. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, we're gonna troll today with a very simple combo. Only three things to worry about. All right, so number one, say wise attack, mirror gem. You hit him, he does eight damage back, which isn't all that great, but it's only one energy. And to make it great, you need number two. Give him a earring bell. You hit him, now you're confused. And your next attack has a half chance to miss. Half is a pretty high. So, uh, what happens if also if he's confused? Number three, if they're confused, panic spores. Between turns, two damage gets done. Yours and your opponent's, so it stacks quite a bit. Yes, you can have four of them, which goes to 80 damage per turn. And if that happens, that's a lot. That is a lot. So then, that would become pretty lethal if you attack Sableye for one prize card. That's what we're trying to do here. So, that is the core combo. The rest of the deck is just to make it work. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So, let's get out there and kick some now, water. Take to the sky. I like that name. All right, Donkey, let's go first for change. I don't... Oh, I'll, yeah, high five. I, I would love to go first now. I would thank you. Oh, I heard something. Hang on with that. Play me next match, Zatio. All right, I can do that. All right, Zatio, I'll play you next match. I'm gonna hit done here. That's a lot of poking abs. All right, I'm gonna play my cover. This is Reach Out to the Truth from Persona 4. Didn't quite get a full match with that, so I'll reuse it. All right, Paris, let's go. You're not supposed to be up front at all. But it is what it is. All right, done here. And let's see what he has here. Watered. Magikarp, cool. Now this is the card that needs to come out. All right, we're gonna play everything we can. Open them with the best, 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 best opener. Lily, yeah. And we also have a switch too, so definitely gonna do that right away. Actually should have switched into Celebi for the kill. But I was gonna trade the Celebi off. And the reason I'm just going to trade the Celebi off was because of Paris. Yeah. And I've really got to depend this and pull me a supporter over, uh, over Koga. All right, that's going to be that. He shouldn't get it. Uh, this, this can't evolve the first turn. This might be a true Gyarados deck, which would be awesome for him. And we would stand, it would be the even fight that was a true Gyarados. Okay? That's what I'm predicting there. If this is Wild Lord, you're dead. Yes. If it is a Wild Lord GX, I'm too slow to do anything and I would die from the GX attack. I would just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hopefully that doesn't come to that. All right, filling up the bench with Professor M. Ditto and Magic Cup. Couldn't get that last one there. That might be a bad situation. Well, that might be as sand as Magic Arps there. So, the Gyarados in the day had one energy to attack with, and I could do two-shot KOs on everything. So we see Ditto. It's absolutely a Gyarados deck. I... Yep, that there it is, this still Blast. He's going to be one-shotting everything, and I'm going to depend on Confusion to get through it. Now, this deck probably doesn't run any switches. Probably. Because of how this thing works, you need 30 energies in your deck. Out to make it work. Very close to 30 here. And he can't fight with every all six prize cards. Because you only have four Gyarados. Well, maybe, uh, 
Well, recycling cards are gone, which makes it hard. You need rescue stretchers to make the Gyarados deck work. But we'll see here. Let's get this up. Let's see if we can poke a nav a, another Parasect or Paris. Paris is just fine. Definitely want to fill up your bench here. And we can have Lily in the next pool we'll actually come because there's no reason to pull that. I already know we know what Lily is coming through, so. Now this energy, I know it's gonna be a waste, but we're playing Lily here, so. You know, let's grab this. I might pull Cynthia. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I was I was gonna waste the energy to get better value of Lily, but no. Cynthia's fine. Cynthia's fine. Switches ear ring bell. Definitely give you the ear ring bell. Definitely gotta need another save Y when it dies. Here's the energy prepping up. Alrighty then, we're gonna do Mirror Gem! And when you evolve to Gyarados, hopefully you get hit by a confusion. A small confusion. Well, you get hit by a lot of damage. And unfortunately, one Parasect is up, so there's not gonna be too much confusion here. Alright, Gyarados is up! Got a big, beefy HP, but he has to deal with confusion this year. We won't have to worry about too much tricks over our opponent here. Reset Stamp him. Uh, I mean, Reset Stamp is gonna give you the maximum of prize cards here, so. Let's see, he didn't... He hit three water energies, which that will kill me anyway, it's fine. And then... Discard! 80 damage, you're now confused! There's only one Pokemon I can send up. Dax me again, he'll get KO'd. And if we have two more Parasects that can evolve, we're good here too. So we're gonna Lily because I want Cynthia for next turn. Alright, another Parasect comes through. So Mirror Gem... Actually, this will be a KO here. This will be a KO, we're gonna Mirror Gem. And this is gonna be enough. Poison, poison. It's not poison. <laughs> Get that out. All right, revenge. Even it up in prize cards there. And you attack me, you'll get hit by the mirror gem. Then the confusion afterwards with the Celebi here. I think this is it. Oop. This is good. This is looking good. Two non GX decks. Head and out. Two troll decks. Uh, you're not a troll deck. I'm the troll deck. I'm the guy who's trying to do something weird here. <laughs> Hold on. All right, Gyarados coming up. Looks like we're gonna deal with all four of them, baby. I like your style. I like your style of deck building. Let me see what we do here. Three energies again. Oh, but the 90 damage comes through. All right. 80, 80 damage, 80 damage. So we need, I think this Parasect needs to evolve. Okay. So there's just too many cards in the hand to pull off a Lily here. I mean, this is the only energy I have on hand. Let's go ahead and pull this, this out. There's just too many dead cards, so we're gonna Cynthia instead of Lily here. Cynthia's not gonna be pulling much. All right, there's that another Parasex. And I'm gonna pull out. Is there another? No, there's not another one possible. So we'll pull an energy instead here. My ear ring bell. It's gonna get confused anyways. We're not gonna save. We're gonna save that there. All right. So I think a mind bend. Let me see. I'm anticipate. That's enough to take the kill. So this means you will need the ear ring bell. So let's go ahead and mind bend. And then this 20 damage becomes a lot more. One, two, and three. Take that KO off the Gyarados. The recoil value is amazing. Amazing. So now when you attack the Celebi, it's gonna... Do you have weakness? No, no, no. The Gyarados would not be weak to grass. That would be wrong. Yeah, the deal was a good idea, Donald. It might be. Because all the Paris is getting prized up in every single game. So I think these are the last two Gyarados. There's very... There's Brock. There's Brock. So I got... Okay, there's Brock. You have to Brock a turn to uh, get all your your stuff back. It's it's still intensive, but... Oh, Lore Ball. Okay. That gets you to Gyarados. Three to Gyarados. I thought that was three heads, but there's not only... Yeah, it was three heads, but there's not enough Gyarados down there. I got it. This still blasts with Keldeo in there, too. I like... I, got, I like your style taking this guy. Okay, we only got one thing that we can send out. So we're, it's taking 60, and then we attack again. It's not going to be enough to take the KO, unfortunately. So we can just let it be. Let me see. It's going to take another 60. It's dead no matter what. So we'll just invest in uh, this here. And I guess I'll pull out another Celebi. Because I'm not sure when I gotta pull that last Parasect out. And this is good. Just let the poison take it through. The next 20 would not have taken four stack KO. So he has still needed 10 more damage. So it's he's it's a 50-50 that he can take a prize here. 
If he can, great. If he can't, I will confuse him. I don't want to commit to a Pokemon that I don't don't need. See, I, I'm already doing damage. I didn't need to attack. You take a prize card, I save an energy right there. It's a lot more energy than energies. Yeah, this thing's doing low damage. Uh, if you were thing, if I was tag GX deck, he would not be doing that much because he's doing 90, 90, 90. It's enough for me because I'm playing a weird deck. And these energies aren't getting restarted. Covered, aren't they? No, they're not. All right, four retreat costs. This deck does not play switches. I know. Oh, uh, <laughs> Never mind. What do you know about deck building, Donald? You're thinking I'm. I'm all, the only reference I have is the old Gyarados deck I have. But he, he I mean, I, I respect you, this guy, for figuring out a, a kind of working Gyarados. That's what we are. We want to make decks that, that, that kind of work. All right, gonna attack. It's gonna be Tails. It hurts itself and dies out of confusion. Oh. Um, Man, I'm sorry to put you through this, this guy, but I promise I won't throw anymore after this. We'll have to say to Okay, so we're gonna confuse. It's gonna stay confused. I'll go. I don't know what the rare ring bell might go. I will send this out next. So let's just go ahead, get ahead in terms of uh, our hand here. Got a reset stamp. You can technically reset stamp him for a very good value. But that's okay. We're gonna confuse you, so you gotta get rid of the confusion, which is gonna be hard when you can't switch with anything. And that's gonna be game if you can't see. That's a lot of freaking damage. That's a lot of freaking damage going out. All right. Got a Brock's grit. He's like, oh no, I'm out of Pokemon. I need to put Pokemon's back in my deck. All right. 20, 20, 20, and that is gonna be the game. I'm just gonna end my turn right here. Done. We both know it's dead. <laughs> with, that, with that amazing confusion damage going through. All right. I would've just, it would've been style point just to end it right there and have a game. All right, Azatio. Instead of going and getting a haircut, I'm gonna play you. Yes, I go first. Uh, hopefully this deck sets up. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is, it is what it is. That's pretty good, Dan. I like that. Let's go. We'll play my cover. This is Four Seasons by Taeyong. This comes on Spotify real soon. All right. We got Mirror Gem. And let's see what our opponent is playing here. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Now, the thing is, that's another Sableye. Holy cow. Okay. How are we going to fare against this? Evenly to very too hard. I would say this is a hard to normal matchup. All right, let's get those basic Pokemons down here. Paris, Paris. And we do need Celebes and Sableyes, but we're just going to get the Celebi because Celebi can actually do confusion here. Can't attack my first turn. I was like, wondering why that wouldn't light up. Easy, Donald, because you can't attack your first turn. All right, so we may not drop the Sableye. Because we need room, we need one bench space for the Paras here. All right, so you're kind of like a Giratina deck, right? Yeah, but you know, are you worth the bench space? I don't think so, but it could be could be useful. That is a lot of more than one save boss that would put my deck. What's going on here? Put three damage counters any way you like. Distortion does it. Now that's what I would expect to be fighting. It's too bad Lieutenant Surge got banned. Well, yep. Some cards are just really, really, really good. And, <laughs> yeah, with more cards being added eventually. Uh, we know that. We know that. Lieutenant Surge was still hard to pull off. I don't think you could have done it too well unless you were in Expanded. Because it requires you to play a lot of supporters in hand. Which, I, I guess, like Misty or something can do. Alright, so here we can see three damage go through. And since it's not really attacking me directly, this this sucks. So we're gonna uh, I would retreat and go for confusion. One pr less prize? Yeah, yeah. But hopefully we can get like one at least one parasect. But if both parasects evolve, that would be amazing, and that'll be fine. Quick hunt, it is three damage anywhere. Probably the back line. I wouldn't go for the front line at all. So we will go we're gonna send out Salabi and hit him. Actually, no, he's got a quick hunt. That that's Totally opposite of what I was thinking. Alright. 
So I don't have that many draw supporters. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat here. I'm not gonna throw anything out, you know. A Pokegear might be okay to throw out just to get one extra card. I don't even need the last energy. I just want extra pulls of Lily right here. All right, we're gonna see if we can pull out some Parasects through this. Oh my gosh, it actually landed a Parasect. All right. And then you can return any way you'd want. That's not good. That means this Pokenav is not gonna land anything here. All right, let's get this up. And let's go ahead and confuse him so he doesn't have anything too crazy. And I'll go ahead and put the bell on. And I think this is good. I mean, I know the next two cannot be Parasect. And I really want the Parasect line to come up here. So we're going to do 30, 20. And if he attacks, he... Well, he's going to... He's he pretty much a poison here. It's going to be a little bit slow, guys. Actually, I did, did need the Paris. I need the Paris down here. I know it's going to get Parasect, but I definitely could have drilled Paris. All right, so... How's this going? Uh, it's normal to hard. I don't see either of us being too ahead of here. You've this is compromised. All right. Here, Tina is gonna be able to one shot everything that comes through, but hopefully our poison value is gonna be good. Great. Yeah, I don't think that he'll be able to knock these out, or too, at least too many of that. Then, poke gear and shuffle again. I think that'll be fine. What I should have done was grab that Paris down with a that because I needed the Paris anyways. I was too focused on getting Paris like that. I forgot uh, about that. Maybe <laughs> Q is like, all right, this is a Giratina deck with a lot of extra Sableye stuff. That's kind of weird. All right, would you attack? Why is the Sableye? I see the I see this. I I definitely see the Giratina. That's always the most dangerous and good part about this. But let's see here. That can recharge. Yeah, the Giratina is the real thing that's coming. So we're expecting a retreat real soon. I think he could. It actually come, might come out this turn here. And then we can hit him with a Sable Eye, Mirror Gem. Alrighty, actually, that got an energy. So yeah, you can retreat with this energy on here, and then. If I get another free attack, or this thing. If I get a free prize card, that's awesome. That is gonna be awesome. Okay. It's time to spiral. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be any use unless I do some more bench damage here. So we have lots of Mimikyu's. Yeah! I know more shadows coming out with this same attack, but if this is still around, there's no reason to play anything else here. Hey, quick question! Do you think uh, Guzzlord will be any good? Yeah, it looks usable. It'll be okay. Alright. Gotta play the retreat. Don't let me take a prize. Curse drop it is. And I think this bypasses all the confusion here. So this is gonna be annoying. All right, I'll go in for the front, too. Let me throw that Pokenav again. Okay, I get a Pokemon through my hand. Which is not what I want. I thought I saw... I thought I... Now this... that I thought I saw a Paris, but I was wrong. It's just gonna be Lily. I don't want that. Thank you for the sub, Spanish Falcon! Oh, it is the Spanish Falcon again. Alright, we need the real thing that's gonna be doing damage. I mean, maybe he's poking me with these Sable Eyes. That would suck. So we are actually just gonna give up the bench space for this and have a slow Parasect deck. Alright, let's get rid of your stadium here. It's not gonna help any of us. We can poke a nap, try to find another Parasect. Clutch that Parasect! Yeah, and then I can pull in the energy in a ring bell, which means I'm gonna be stuck for a few turns, but uh, that'll be okay. All right, we can definitely attack for the next few. This is a slow deck, isn't it? Yes, it is. Poison there. Thank you for the there. Guzzlord's my favorite too. 20 damage. If he does not retreat, he will die. And if guaranteed an attack, he'll take the prize card, but he'll be poisoned. Then he'll die. Well, maybe not fast enough. We need more Parasects down on the bench soon. Alrighty then. So you can probably pretty much retreat every time you attack me. Nobody's been able to take the last prize card prize card just yet. Gonna have retreat. Let's see what happens here. That's annoying! This card that you expect would not be useful is actually useful against me, because I'm a poison kind of deal. So I'll be able to take the first KO with this. I don't he won't have enough damage. 
Oh, wow. Just really fighting with the stable eyes here to avoid the poison. The confusion I'm doing. So I would go for back here, I guess. Because I'm ready to fight all the way through. And right now, these stable eyes aren't doing... Okay. Wow. That's annoying. Okay. We're not going to do anything else. We're just going to do confusion here. And this will kill the stable eye. Let me take the first prize card. There we go. Annoying little say wise. Pokenav, great. But we'll take the KO with the Celebi, and I think I have the ear ring bell, so when this attacks me, we take the poison. That's un that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm not gonna stop complaining here. Hopefully. That was a Celebi and not a Paris. Yeah, yep. Messed it up. Ooh, that there. That means I'm forced to trigger it. And I'm forced to take 20 extra damage when I attack him. 40 extra damage here. Alright, so we're gonna attack with the Celebi here. He already knows that, but he can't KO it everything through this. Actually, I can... Let me see. We'll attack. There's nothing I can do except time spiral. I'm ready prepared for everything. Let me see. I do need an ear ring bell on a card. Something's gonna have to die. Something's gonna have to get shot. And I'd rather be something that can... Something like this. Alright, we'll put this ahead of time. And we're gonna do mind bend. Just to take the next prize card right there. Alrighty then, because I was gonna send this out. I was like, ah! Save this. This is my only other Celebi after this. And we didn't even play the Pokemon half. We probably should have. All right, you can do 40 damage anyway. I think you'll take the Celebi down with you. Strangely, saying why was a bigger threat than well, we'll see with Giratina comes down. But I took two prize cards, man, ahead of my opponent. All right. Make sure you take this to kill. We'll send the Sableye out because I mean we've been using up our Celebis, and I may need. I'm not sure which one I need here. Paris! X! Beautiful, that's what I need. Alright, we'll send this out. Now, fight me. Fight me, fight me, fight me. So he attacks me, he'll get hit with a confusion. Unfortunately, he won't get hit by the mirror jam, which would kill him. But, alright, unfortunately, there's Jirachi out here. Oh, do you have Nihilego in this deck? I do not have Nihilego. Wouldn't be so bad, wouldn't it? Oh, a spell tag. Mysterious treasure, I mean, he's gotta take a prize card lead soon, somehow, some way. Oh man, actually, why would this card that would not be amazing in, 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 but be, be, be a threat? And it's gonna be a threat to me. Alright. He's looking at fully committing to Sableye to avoid the confusion. That's annoying. Now he'll kill, kill, kill this off. Wow. That is just unfortunate. Uh, for from my from first matchup. Now I can only... I can't do as much damage as I can. Bollocks. Why? Why do you have so many Sableyes? It's gonna be a threat. <laughs> Alright. But we're gonna one-shot it soon. Soon. Oh my gosh, I don't have another Celebi. I don't have another Celebi. And he's bypassing all the confusion. I don't have a retreat either. Okay, I'll take the energy. Then I'll have to Koga for the damage. Koga. And then Cynthia. Alright, here it is. Mirror Gym. Wow. Wow. What? Three? I'm gonna stop complaining. And Koga to bail you out? Yeah, we got a Koga. We got one Koga. 
which is not going to do enough to... Actually, this could be enough to kill this. So we're good. We're good. It's going to suck, but we're good. Curse drop your... God, gosh. Something... Something... You, the reason I'm making fun of this, even though it's killing me, is because this thing only does 30 damage, but he has so many of it in his deck. I feel like... Yet, it is ruining me. Yes, your, your deck is ruining me, Raichu. I'm making fun of you, but it is beating my butt. Alright, we're gonna get the last Parasect out now. Well, almost. And we do get a Koga to bail us out soon. I think that reshuffles the deck. Alright, here we go. We're gonna poison you and mirror gem you. And then this energy doesn't work on that, unfortunately. So I'll go ahead and put this ahead of time. As I might need it. We're gonna go ahead and mirror gem. Here we go, and then the, let the poison and the everything tick in. This should bypass this little 40 damage deal there. Alrighty then! For Ice Guard, this is gonna be a top deck of draw support too, so that is awesome. Alright, no more Sable Eyes, please. That is a lot of freaking Sable Eyes. And then, uh, yeah. So we, luckily, we did get a Koga. Now attack me with the Skirantina! Don't, don't, don't just cheese my effects. Okay. No more Sable Eyes. I mean, he's got one more Sable Eye. We might be able to handle it. That is going to be a Catter Day. Oh, that's not good. That's why. You're a Catter Day deck. Now everything kind of makes sense. So now he can snipe one of the Parasects off. And then I'm going to have to fight with the Parasect afterwards. That's annoying. You're annoying. What a what a deck. This is some full bench damage. I get it. I get it. I get it. But oh man, that that's a that's a huge counter to my strategy. We got we got really we got really 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 messed up with my playing this guy. Okay. Alrighty then. I think. I'm gonna have to switch. Send the Parasect out. Hope that it lands a confusion so we get the KO. Alrighty then. There's not another energy in my deck. There is an energy, but it's a dark energy. He shouldn't have that much damage. But we're, we're dead stuck this turn. Nope, I got no I got two energies left in my deck. You are a deck that bypasses confusion completely. I think that's that. Okay, so it's really a Canada bench deck. It's not really a Giratina deck. And this is exposed. I really can't handle too many more of this combo here. Too much more. I really need him to attack me directly or handle, be it triggered a confusion. But he shouldn't be able to do much damage here. He shouldn't get a KO this turn. And I might get lucky to pull out one more deal for the KO. All right, gonna retreat because you know energies are free. We still have one more Koga? We might actually have more Kogas if, if that's that's the deal. So if I expose my Parasect, I know I can't attack much more. So it might bring out the Giratina finally. And but then we're we're gonna lose we lost two Parasects, so that's that's gonna really lower the damage. And how much is going to be triggered through the confusion? 40. But he'll have the ability to retreat. Alrighty then. And I don't have that much damage coming out. Because I lost to my Parasects. But this is enough to kill it, at least. I don't have much more to fight with here, guys. And he's he's skipping all the mirror gem damage that I can do. He's skipping all the damage. So I'm gonna have to I think we're gonna have to take the prize here and then just go. Because we don't have <laughs> He's not gonna attack me directly. There we go, take that KO, awesome. It won't trigger his effect. Two prize. But we don't he won't attack me. He will not trigger the confusion. So we need like a Koga. This is just special. I would say this is unique. 
There's one more Koga in the deck. There's one more Koga in the deck. Alright, Cynthia. Losing me deck engine over Kogo. Maybe Brock. I don't know about that. Really, our Parasect shouldn't have died, but... It is what it is. He could take the prize card immediately. By retreating and attacking with this, I guess. Or he could do 20 damage here. So I think he'll take the prize card. I would take the prize card. I don't have any more straight up front damage anymore. I think two of the Celebes are prized or something, because there should be another Celebe in the decks? I just couldn't see it. Okay. Or maybe there was, I didn't know. Maybe these two last cards are Celebes. Alright, come out. Don't... I guess he's fighting me with a Giratina, that would be very good. That's very fun. And then we might go into Sun Deck, which I would lose, probably. He only has to with the effect and win. <laughs> Alright! Well, this is gonna die by attacking me. There we go, I die, but it's confused, and the mirror gem hurts it. It's 80, and then the confusion's gonna almost kill it. Actually, it's gonna die in the wrong turn. Here we go, come out! 20, 20, and then I just have to attack it one more time for it to die. I can't take the last prize card. He's won. Yep, but still GG. You want? He won that. He won that. All he had to do was just attack me one more time. But oh, what? Why did I win? Did he deck out? I guess I'm not paying attention. I still have two more prizes! I'm gonna have to go back and see that. I think you won. Good game! Still good game, Raichu. Good game, Raichu. Huh. Donald, is this a good deck? No, we're just trolling. There are two reasons why this deck is not good. One is, you need lots of Parasects right away. Otherwise, you don't get this ability to do damage for you. Yes, yeah, so... Our draws are okay, our thinners are okay, but they need to be a lot smoother like decks in the past, standard decks in the past. If we do expand, it'd be much easier, but these things would die fast because of Guzman stuff. And the number two reason why this deck is bad, your opponent controls everything. If they don't attack or they have a way around your Pokemon, which a lot of opponents have, yeah, yeah, or maybe they're playing with non-GXs, that's gonna be tough because your damage is low, it's all under your component's control, and that's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that is that. Two reasons. You gotta set up fast, and your opponent should just might be able to bypass the whole setup here. So, that is that. We trolled. And for the most part, I'm sorry to the Gyarados player, because uh, it didn't work that time around. So, alright, what is up for next time? Uh, Gengar. It's gonna be Halloween, right? So, it gotta be a Gengar deck, and then I think new decks coming all coming out all month long, so it's all, yeah, it's all new decks afterwards. Put Gengar tomorrow for Halloween. So that is that. Thank you, and the girls and the friendships. Take it easy, stay safe. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.